Super Core Crew here, and we're talking about a lot of stuff. We got Super Smash Brothers, we got Super Mario Maker, Splatoon, the Nintendo New York Store. A lot of things to talk about. I'm Nikki. And I'm Cade, but let's first start talking about our channel. We actually have a lot of stuff going up on our channel, like uh, 107 Facts about Mario Kart 8, and very soon we're going to have 107 Facts about Amiibo. In addition to that, we also played some more of your courses in Super Mario Maker, and they're really funny, <laughs> and we have some more courses that we're playing. Uh, very very soon. Yeah, you guys sent, keep 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 them coming, keep them coming. And of course, weekly we have statistics. We just did a six minute video on the blaster, mm -hmm. which I actually started using because of statistics. <laughs> You're like, wow. Yeah. And uh, this week we have sloshing machine. Blaster is such a fun weapon. I mean, I watched the video and I was like, wow. I guess I should try using it too. Yeah. So what's the first topic today? We have um, the first topic is a big one. Super Smash Brothers confirmed by Nintendo of America. It's coming like in a couple uh, hours. Tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally tomorrow, February third. They have confirmed that Bayonetta and Umbra Clock Tower will be available as well as Corinne. Yeah, so you can get Bayonetta and her stage for $5.99 on either 3DS and Wii U, mm -hmm. but if you want both, it's $6.99. Corinne is actually $4.99 yep. or $5.99 for both. Yep, and obviously you're gonna get both because you have 3DS and yeah. Wii U, so. But in addition to that, it's the sixth wave of Mii Fighter uh, costumes. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. who's in that? I saw Knuckles, the Tails. Oh, Tails is in it too, yeah. Yeah. So that completely rounds out the Super Smash Brothers roster with 58 playable characters. You know, yeah. 51 were on the roster, seven downloadable, right? So that's, that's a ton of people. Yeah, and this is actually the last uh, update that it's gonna be receiving for more characters, so... I don't know, I, they keep saying that that's, that's it. At the end. <laughs> but, you know what? Like, I would not be surprised if, like, you know, you just heard that shing <laughs> the sound, <laughs> you know, like sometime in the one summer, more, yeah, more. and then just like announce, shoot, somebody, you know, anybody. I don't know. I mean, I think they have a very, like, solid, like, system in place, you know, I think yeah. um, they might do, like, a patch for, like, balances and stuff like that, maybe, um, but I think the roster, 58 characters, that's a ton, you know, we have so many stages, like, they, maybe they'll add a stage or two, but, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm very happy with what we have. That's what I'm going to say, that... If they're gonna update anything else, like sure, the character roster could be final. That's mm -hmm. that's great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. But where? And I don't. I wouldn't even pay for this. Where is Corneria <laughs> for Wii U? I'm happy that's at least on the 3DS. But I was just like, all right, I, I got it for the Wii U. Like, can't wait to play it. I was like, oh, it must not be here. Let me check the other page. Oh, it's not here either. <laughs> I'm like, wait, there's no Corneria. So, I mean, what if, like, you know, they, mm -hmm. with something around the Star Fox re release. Oh, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Because they talked about, yeah. I mean, this, I'm giving you a little taste of the Amiibo effect. That would be cool. You know, with the R-Wing. Right, right, right. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if, if it, coinciding with that and the Star Fox release, they were like, you know, and now Corneria is available. So you really, you really want Corneria and the Wii U version. Yeah, like, it, I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> I, I, even if it was, like, not, like, done... 100% like you know they did the ship only yep, yep. but the background was just like you know polygons and wireframes right. I wouldn't even care you, you know care. I just even if the ship was a wireframe I wouldn't even you care you just want that little edge yeah. area yeah, with I don't, now the thing that frustrates me so much is that you know getting blasted by the ship and if there was a way to turn that off like it's just that the the levels is so good like it it plays so well when you're fighting so <laughs> I mean I've attempted to make it sure in oh in the, in the actual <laughs> custom stage editor there's a great video on my <laughs> channel you should check out. But, it's you know, it, I just want an official Corneria. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe. I mean, at least the songs are out there, right? And you have it on 3DS, so. Yeah, that's true. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of that stage. Like, it's fun, but you just play it way too much. You've kind of ruined it for me. I, okay. <laughs> you, that doesn't you, make sense. You pick it every time. Yeah. Anybody who loves Corneria, sound off in the comments. Back me up here. Corneria is one of the best, and that's why it's it in is. Melee it and is. Brawl. And it only is. 3DS, but not... But and then again, like, you know, since we have so much in Super Smash Brothers, uh, what is the next time we're going to get the, a new Super Smash Brothers? I mean, this one can hold us over for so for long. For so long. Yeah. I mean, it, it plays... I love that game. Nintendo New York Store. It's there. opening February 19th to the public. That's right. Open to the public at 12 p.m. That's yeah. noon. So you can wake up, you know, and go get some brunch, go get some breakfast, whatever you want to do. Show up maybe a little early. Yeah. You know why? Because they have exclusives there. Yeah, and also giveaways, like... They are gonna be limited quantity. I know this is sick. Splatoon mm -hmm. artwork from the some of the developers of the game. I want that. It's probably some of the artwork that was on, on display, display think? when Splatoon was in in there. I want that so bad. It would be so awesome, but you know that is limited quantities. But mm -hmm. all weekend they'll have exclusive 
uh, shirts that are gonna have a Mario and a Link shirt as well. Yeah, limited edition, um, like literally exclusive to the store. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a bunch of other stuff that will be in store that you just can't buy anywhere else. It's yeah. probably kind of pertain to Nintendo New York, like the location. So that, I don't know, I'm really, really excited. And we're gonna try and do something very cool around that event, especially for those of you who won't be able to make it. Yeah. Um, if you don't live in New York, you know, I understand. Uh, I've seen a lot of comments, people saying like, love the squid pillows. Oh, by the way, we did a review on these pillows. I forgot to mention that. A lot of you keep asking about them. We love them so much. We got them at the Nintendo World Store. Hopefully they carry more than just the green and the orange because I want to get one right. for myself. We talked about it in the review, yeah. but there's like purple, pink, turquoise, and blue. There will also be new games to play at the Nintendo New York On Store. On a huge new display. 15 foot display. Is it really 15? It's really 15 foot. Wow. A really big one. Yeah, so you're gonna be playing some of the new titles that are coming out very soon around that time, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, moving on. Splatoon European Splatfest results. Nikki, who do you think won? I predicted it, okay? I said it, that <laughs> with an overwhelming spill of people, ninjas got the popularity vote, and of course they didn't win. Yeah, ninjas. That makes sense. Ninjas won the popularity vote, just like you said, 77%. 77. 77%. However, if you <laughs> chose Team Barbarian, uh, you made the wise choice because they ended up winning with uh, 377 to 323. That is just insane to me. So all the European participators yeah. for the Splatfest, how do you feel? Were you on Team Barbarian or Ninja? <laughs> I need to know because it, it's just like, one one time, the Splatfest is the popularity vote, they're gonna win, and they're gonna win as well. They're nope. gonna win the matches. Nope. Did not happen. Sorry. Sorry, Team Ninjas. I would've been on your team, definitely. In the world outside of the US, there's other Splatoon stuff happening. Like, I don't know if you saw the Squid Sister concert in Japan. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, if you're familiar with Hatsune Miku, yeah. it's like a hologram. There's obviously not real Squid Sisters yeah. playing. You know, well, it, it helped the Splatoon soundtrack in Japan like skyrocket to the top of the charts. That's or something awesome. Like, that. like, it, like it helped like create awareness about around Splatoon. I thought that was kind of cool. Did you say Splatoon T U N E or Splatoon T O O N? Splatoon. <laughs> it rose awareness around Splatoon. Splatoon. Yeah. The soundtrack. <laughs> the both of them. Okay. Yeah. Man, I love the Squid Sisters so much. If they made an amiibo, I would buy it. I would just buy Callie, really. Really? I <laughs> see. That's funny because I like Marie. Yeah, I would just buy yeah. Callie. That's it. So yeah, we've been playing a lot of Super Mario Maker on the channel, your courses specifically. But there's this really cool. It's again, it's a Japanese website, but yeah. it's official. It's official. If you go to Mario Maker WP Nintendo Co JP, you can literally make a Super Mario Maker. Like, wallpaper. Yeah, wallpaper. You can yeah. use. It's like a course editor, basically. I think that's what the WP stands for, but Kate sent it to me, and I'm like, wow, you can do this on your phone, and like, yes, it's in Japanese, but you can figure it out, like, mm -hmm. once it loads. Yep. You select the dimensions, so yep. if you have iPhone 6 or iPhone, 5, yep. and you can actually, it will constrain to those proportions, and then you literally just select your theme, mm -hmm. and like, then you just pick items. Yeah, you can do Super Mario World. You can, like, literally, and, like, a lot of stuff that's in the game, like Super Mario World, um, Super Mario Brothers use the original Super Mario Brothers. All those themes are there, as well as like airship, underwater. They're all there. However, not every item in the game is available. They have Goomba, Koopa Troopa, Piranha Plant, Lakidu, stuff like that. Even Bowser. They have Bowser. Yeah. yeah, so when I was building it, I was like, all right, now I'm just scrolling to the bottom, ready to press play, because I thought I can play a version of Super Mario Maker on my phone. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's, it's just a wallpaper, but it's still creative. Because seriously, it's, it, it, it was so responsive, like dropping the items. I was like, oh dude, like I'm ready to play. Yeah. Yeah. And then I didn't get to play. Yeah, but, but then you could save it and stuff like that. I, I thought that was really cool. I came across that and I was like, oh, I gotta send this to Nikki. So just wanna throw that out there in case you wanna make a wallpaper. I think it's a fun little thing. Yeah, check it out. The link is in the description below. So we just started February, but we're getting closer to March, which is kind of like a Zelda month. Yep. We got Hyrule Warriors coming to 3DS. Yes. We have the HD remake of Twilight Princess. Yes and as well as the Wolf Link Amiibo. Yeah, so it kind of ties into the game because Akira Himakawa, I hope I'm saying that right, the duo of female comic book artists known for their work on the Zelda manga, previously tweeted this ambiguous photo months ago, but now they've confirmed that there is a Twilight Princess manga. That is correct. The Twilight Princess manga is actually gonna be released in a manga streaming app called Manga One. Again, they just released this one photo and again, it's not much can be said from that photo, but I'm definitely keeping my eye out for that because look, we have the- Yeah, we've seen it in the past. Viz Media has actually uh, brought over the Legend of Zelda manga from, you know, Ocarina of Time. I think there's like Wind Waker in there. Phantom Hourglass, Minish Cap. So it just makes sense that they would also do Twilight Princess. 
So I'm excited. I gotta read those actually. <laughs> I never, I never even played Zelda. <laughs> I forgot we had them. Cool. So I'm really excited about that. You know, the more Zelda stuff we can have out in the world it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Resident Evil 4, one of your okay. favorite games of all time. All right. So those of you who haven't played it or are not familiar with the Resident Evil series, you got. Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS, but Resident Evil 4 actually was only for GameCube when it right. came out, and now it's on various platforms, and I actually did buy it for Wii, but now it's coming to Wii U to the eShop yep. on February 4th, and I'm excited because it's literally one of my favorite games. I'm definitely gonna pick it up, so if you're interested, or any entry point into the Resident Evil series, definitely play 4. It is so awesome. I gotta say, this is a big week for us. Today's Groundhog Day, yeah. tomorrow is the big Smash Day, February 4th is the Resident Evil Day for you. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so much going on. And also, this month is the first month to get your first mythical exactly. Pokemon. Exactly. That was yesterday, February, February 1st. 1st. You yeah. could start getting uh, Mew, level and, 100. Yeah, and in addition to not only getting Mew for your game, PokemonCenter.com, as well as participating uh, trading card game retailers, are offering a mythical Pokemon collection Mew card. Interesting. You should definitely pick that up, especially for all you card collectors out there. I literally have like three binders um, at my home, so I, I'm interested. My proudest moment was that there was a kid named Billy Kozak. I'm not even making this up. <laughs> he would bring binders of Pokemon cards to lunch. Yes. And he would sell the holograms for 75 cents. What? It was insane. So I literally was like, I don't have Charizard. Can I have Charizard? And he's like, sure. And it was a first edition. Why did he do so, that? So not only did I get a first edition Charizard, but one of my other proudest moments is just like, I remember opening up the booster pack. And it was Charizard on the front and I opened it and I went through it and it was Charizard. I actually got Charizard on the, in, a, yeah. in a package. Oh, yeah. and it was like, cause like in the original boosters, it was like Blastoise, Venusaur and Charizard on the front. Yeah. Right. And so you were saying you had a Charizard. In the Charizard pack. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. So look forward to 107 facts about Amiibo. And please, if you have course suggestions for Super Mario Maker, we want to play them. Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, join the coin and subscribe.